Bonnie, happy Friday. I am back. Oh my goodness. I'm not even going to talk about the weather. We're going to dig right into these wallflowers right now because I am going to talk about the new Bath and Body Works wallflowers. We're going to talk about the sale. Um, this is my wallflowers collection. I have really pared down my collection a lot. Whatever fits in this little box, that's what I keep. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about um, overbuying wallflowers a little bit. But first off, we're going to talk about the sale. So I'm going to put a screenshot up. This sale goes until April 3rd, which is Monday. So it's like Monday morning at 6 a.m. All wallflowers fragrance refills are $2.95 with the code BLOOM. I'm not seeing a code in the email, though. So I think if you go in store, you can use your 20% off, which is a much better deal. You'll get them for like 2 bucks and change. And then the scent control limited, um, there's four of them that you can get uh, for $9.95. So we're going to do a screenshot of those in the minute. Uh, in a minute. They also have the new ones. They got the new ones. So first up, I'm going to put up a screenshot. Um, these are the scent control plugs that are on sale for $9.95. There's a champagne one and a midnight fluted. Those are cute. They're, they're, they're light up. They're beautiful. Um, I actually kind of like the champagne one a lot. And then they also have a black marble and a white marble for the $9.95. And like I said, these are the scent control plugs. Is this a good deal? It is a good deal for the refills, especially if you go into the store, because if you have a 20% off coupon, um, let me do the math here, $2.95 minus 20%, you can pay like $2.36. That's a great deal, especially if you go through a lot of these. So in recent years, I've pared down my collection a great deal because I only use these one day a week. Use them on Saturday when I clean. Or occasionally, like around the holidays, I use them if like I have company coming over and I don't want to light a candle. But I don't really use them much in um, the spring and summer. They're just not really my thing in those um, seasons for some reason. I prefer to light a candle. I just you know, I love the way the candles, the ambiance of the candle, but a lot of people use these. Um, they're great in bathrooms. They are great in like a laundry room, a kitchen, because they do give off a nice scent and it kind of keeps your house smelling um, fresh. A lot of people like using these in the summer with the windows open too, because you kind of get a breeze and then you get the scent and it's kind of nice. So I was looking online today. Um, they do have some new plugs. They've got a camper. They've got um, a jellyfish, a turtle. You Oh, the flower card. You can really go down um, the bunny hole on these, <laughs> seriously, and overbuy, which is what I've been doing. So the only plugs now that I buy are the Halloween. I can't resist the Halloween. I collect the Halloween ones, but you might want to consider... Um, picking one season to collect. Then what you do is you maybe have like one summer, you know, one spring. Um, I bought this cute little bunny butt one last year and never even used it, but I bought it because it was cute. I'm trying not to do that as much because I'm like, I don't have enough room to store all of these um, plugs. So I'm trying to be good now. <laughs> but uh, they have some new refills. They have the Gingham Gorgeous. They have a uh, flower card, which is supposed to be a candle coming. Uh, pink Peach Blossom. They have Gingham Legend, which is that new men's scent. Riviera Petals. I don't know what that one is. That one is Rose Petals, White Tea, Stem, and Fresh Geranium. I don't know about that one. I like the foodie ones. I really use the foodie ones most. I like my strawberry pound cake. I'm actually going to do a demo right here with my salted butterscotch and vanilla. This is one of my favorites. I use this one a lot. Um, let's see. We have turquoise waters, pink pineapple sunrise, all of the tropicals. So there's a big selection um, if you're interested today. So what I have done is I bought this cute little box and I keep all my wallflowers in here. And then I use them on Saturdays. I cap them off and I put them back and then I reuse them when I need them. But I've really decided I only need 
there's probably 25 in here. That's like my limit. And the most ones that I collect are like the fall caramel pumpkin swirl. I like Christmas. I like fresh balsam, you know, for the holidays. So I'm actually going to show you guys if you're brand new to Bath and Body Works, these can be so tricky. So I'm going to put this one back together and do a little demo. So when you buy these in the store or online, they are going to come plastic wrapped. So you got to first find a little serrated edge, pull the plastic off. That's number one. Number two, you're going to take the little tag off. I saved the tag because I put my tag back on. Salted uh, butterscotch vanilla is sweet bourbon, caramel brulee, warm vanilla, and buttered maple. I love this scent so much. This is a good one. So now, I always say this, you're going to throw righty tighty Lucy lefty out the window. Everything you ever learned about using um, a screwdriver or, you know, screwing in a light bulb, it's gone because it's the opposite. <laughs> it's like bizarro world. So there's a tiny arrow on here that no one can see. And you twist this off. I don't know how many people have told me, oh my gosh, Bonnie, I have been going crazy trying to get these off because guess what? It doesn't come off. Everyone's like, they're too tight because you're trying to like twist it off and it won't come off. That's because you're going in the opposite direction. Everyone does that. So you do the opposite and then you're going to pull the little cap off. I'm going to do that in a second. But first I'm going to open up my scent control plug. So usually what I do, there is a plastic wrap on here. So what I do is I just slip my scissors in here. I cut this up the side, easiest way to get this off. And then you're going to pull off uh, the little plastic thing off the plug. Now, this is the trick that everyone um, is like, whoa, I didn't know that. So many people don't realize this. So you know in the bathroom in the kitchen where you have the GFI plugs that are sideways, you can't plug one of these in sideways because it'll leak everywhere. So what you want to do is turn your plug and then now you can plug it in um, the other way because the plug is like this way. So it's going to be right side up, but the plug is sideways. Like our bathroom has those weird plugs. Um, so you can just turn this, but always make sure this is going up. So whether you turn it this way <laughs> or this way, just make sure the top is <laughs> going up. Um, so this is a scent control. On the side here, you're going to have a little button and you're going to press the button. It's going to light up. I wish I had my extension cord here. I don't have it. So you have a low setting, a medium setting, and a high setting. So what you're going to do then is you're going to take the cap off. You have a wick here that goes all the way down to the bottom. And then right here, you can see a hole. You're going to screw this in, um, but it's the opposite way that you think it is. It's not like screwing in a light bulb. It's a little bit different. And then you're set up and ready to go. They're super pretty. This will like light up and it's, it's, it's pretty. They look good in the wall. So now you're going to pick your setting. So the middle light is going to be like your regular setting. So a lot of like the pretty ones don't have scent control, although they have been moving into scent control lately. Um, so what you're going to do then is you're going to either put it, you're going to just toggle through. So as you press this button and I don't have it on, it's either the light's going to go up and down. The low setting um, is kind of nice. Like if you're doing like a eucalyptus and you don't want it to like overpower anything, um, you might want to put it on low. A lot of people just keep it on the medium. And then if you want a little bit more scent, uh, you're going to do high. Scents like strawberry pound cake, um, anything that's light, you're going to want to put on high because you're going to get a lot more scent. And like I can smell this already and I'm not, it's not even plugged in. So what's going to happen once you plug this in is this part's going to like heat up a little bit and then the oil is going to um, flow out of the top. And but it smells good. <laughs> I love this one. Um, in theory, these are supposed to last like uh, two to four weeks. I feel like everyone kind of has a different experience with them. I don't use these constantly. I don't leave these plugged in all the time. So what I do after I clean, this is in for about five or six hours, I take it out, I recap it, and um, they, see I did the same thing, I twisted it the wrong way. Um, I recap it, I put my label on, 
And then I'm good to go the next time I want to use this. And then I just store it in my little bin here. Um, some people have said that as the weeks go on, which I can see, uh, these give off less and less scent. I feel like probably the first two weeks are going to give off the most scent. And then as you... Um, use them, you know, the oil will start to go down and then, you know, these will be empty. I don't think I've ever emptied one out because I don't really use them the way most people use them. I just use them on Saturday while I'm cleaning. But a lot of people swear by these, you know, they put them in every room of their house. They love them. Um, so just, it's, you know, matter of uh, preference on how you use them. But I like to do a little demo every couple months. Um, but one of the things I think that a lot of people do when there's these sales is that you kind of go crazy because they're so pretty and there's so many good scents. You buy a whole bunch and then you stick them in a box somewhere and then you forget about them. And then you're like, wait a minute, I already have this all a lot. So my advice is only like buy what you need. Even if they're on sale, I had to like kind of curb myself a little bit because my problem is they're cute. You know, this is where they get you. They're cute. And I'm a sucker for cute, you know, cute. And I'll like buy one and go, oh, that's so cute. And then I have like a giant basket of uh, wallflower plugs. <laughs> I'm like, I don't need this many wallflower plugs. So lately what I've been doing is I just look at them, I photograph them and go, yeah, that's really cute. And then it's, unless it's like something really special, like, um, Halloween. I'm a sucker for Halloween. Uh, I've kind of stopped buying these for the most part. I have enough to last me for the next like 20 years. I do gift a lot of these out. I have so many that um, still have the paper on them. So like I might stick this in a little Easter basket for, you know, one of my relatives and stuck, stick a few like of the scent uh, refills in there. So that's kind of how I use them. So anyway, if you love the refills, which a lot of people do, today's the day to buy them. Much better deal at the $2.95. Um, those plugs, are those a good deal? Eh. So $9.95, you could use an app reward on a normal day because they're only $14.50 and get a free one. So the $9.95, unless you're buying in bulk, uh, it's not like the best deal because at Christmas they usually do a deal uh, where they're like $5.95, which is a better deal than the $9.95. So um, you know, if you really need one, if you really like the new champagne fluted one, it's not a bad price, but at the same time, you could just use your app reward and get it for free. So that is my take on the wallflower sale. Like I said, it's going on until Monday morning. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And um, I will see you later. Bye-bye.